hit the road. that we took over the summer was uh, one of the shortest trips that we've taken but the response was incredible in Philadelphia every time every time we every time we do it I feel like I learned something new about you know um, just functioning as as books on wheels does but like relating to people and and really seeing like kind of how amazing people are in general one, one of the um, reasons for we are that I set Chop Suey up so that we could be sort of a community place for a lot of different activities is, you know, it certainly has to do with getting people into the store and, you know, a, a way for the bookstore to exist, not just as a bookstore, but as a place where people can see um, music or film or hear poetry or fiction. But mostly the, the idea that really like the one of the reasons that I got really excited by it is that I can't come up with those things on my own and so having other people do it and bring their energy to it and bring their creativity to Chop Suey makes it makes me really excited and gives me a lot of you know it's an energy that I can feed off of as well. Ward is the, he's definitely the hardest working person that I've ever met. He is, he has an unbelievable amount of energy that um, can be exhausting, but I, I, I would say that in the best way and picking on him a little bit about it. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. He is like really, really, really full of life and really excited about everything that's going on and like uh, always really, really just energetic about what's going on in Richmond, what his friends are doing, what anyone's doing in general. You run into him on the street and like, he's gonna ask you, you know, 10 questions about what you've been doing and what you have going on, like, out of genuine, like, interest and concern for, you know, everyone in his life that he knows and like, what they're doing. And that reflects like, so much in, in, in the kind of place that Chop Suey is. I had gone to uh, school at VCU in the early 90s, graduated in 94 and then went up to SUNY Buffalo for graduate school in English. I guess it was by 97 or 98. I was working full time in a few different bookstores. Uh, started in Buffalo and when I moved to New York City worked in four different bookstores there. It was a great experience. I really liked the used bookstore that I worked in and in 2001 decided that I wanted to leave New York and come down to Richmond with the hopes of opening a bookstore. The first stage of the uh, Chop Suey move. We're, we're in the first stages now. We're moving stuff every day. It's going to take five weeks. Uh, I, I'm doing it so that I can move things and not be stressed. Um, well, not be too stressed. These are heavy boxes. Um, yeah, like this is a box of unpriced books. So we were just sort of setting aside some of the nicer things we bought because we knew we were gonna be selling things at a really cut rate here over the next couple months. So this is gonna help us start the new store with a lot of great books. Closing Wani after being open for seven years, seven and a half of it now. Uh, rent went up drastically, business sort of dropped. Um, so it's been dropping steadily for the past couple of years, just sort of based on the economy. And uh, actually, it didn't drop as much as just sort of plateaued. And when we opened up our second store in Carytown, that one just started doing really well. And uh, all those things sort of combined made me think. I should go up and uh, expand the Carrytown store. Hey, Heidi. What's up? Uh, 
I like the end and made shelves and my shelves here. Good light through here. Got some shelves in the wall. Another weird closet. Um, yeah, look at Carrytown at your disposal. I think I think I need to wash these windows off a little bit. I think it's great. I think it's awesome. I mean, it's a change, I think, for like all of us. You know, we spend a lot of time like at Chop Suey and hanging out in the backyard and going to art shows and seeing music. And it's it's been it's been really cool. But it's you know, it's 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 moving on. And, you know, the, the I think I know he looks at it the same way of, you know, it's really not that sad in a sense of just like it's it's growing. And that's the way things that's the way things go. And, you know, it could be worse, like it could be closing and there wasn't like the second store. So um, it's definitely, you know, uh, it's definitely a good thing. And, you know, it's not without its successes. So I think it's going to be all right. <laughs> It's given me uh, work for seven and a half years. Uh, it's put me in touch with a lot of different groups of people. Um, the people I, I wouldn't necessarily know otherwise. Um, what else has Chop Suey done? It's probably given me, um, I don't have an ulcer, but I think, can you get an ulcer in your mind? I think I have one of this. Chop Suey itself and what he does has been really important in the sense that he's brought in all different uh, kinds of things that are going on in the community and allow people to express themselves and and hold events uh, you know as far as like poetry readings and book readings and artwork and music and just you know any any number of things that's been like a great outlet for artists or or writers to you know have have somewhere that you know they can express themselves <laughs> Yeah. 